Located on the shore of Lake Michigan, Chicago was incorporated as a city in 1837 near a portage between the Great Lakes and the Mississippi River watershed. It grew rapidly in the mid-19th century. In 1871, the Great Chicago Fire destroyed several square miles and left more than 100,000 homeless, but Chicago's population continued to grow. Chicago made noted contributions to urban planning and architecture, such as the Chicago School, the development of the City Beautiful Movement, and the steel-framed skyscraper. Chicago is an international hub for finance, culture, commerce, industry, education, technology, telecommunications, and transportation. It has the largest and most diverse derivatives market in the world, generating 20% of all volume in commodities and financial futures alone. O'Hare International Airport is routinely ranked among the world's top six busiest airports by passenger traffic, and the region is also the nation's railroad hub. For historical events are marked by the four red stars on the flag of Chicago, Fort Dearborn of the United States, founded at the mouth of the Chicago River in 1803, the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, which destroyed much of the city, the World's Columbian Exposition of 1893, at which Chicago celebrated its recovery from the fire, and the Century of Progress World's Fair of 1933 to 1934, celebrating the city's centennial. The two blue stripes on the flag symbolize the north and south branches of the Chicago River, which flows through downtown. The three white stripes represent the north, west, and south sides of the city. Lake Michigan represents the east side. A.S. The First World War cut off immigration. Tens of thousands of African Americans came north in the Great Migration out of the rural south. With new populations competing for limited housing and jobs, especially on the south side, social tensions rose in the city. Post-war years were more difficult. Chicago, along with New York, became the center of the nation's advertising industry. Albert Lasker, known as the father of modern advertising, made Chicago his base 1898 to 1942. As head of the Lord and Thomas Agency, Lasker devised a copywriting technique that appealed directly to the psychology of the consumer. Women seldom smoked cigarettes, he told them if they smoked lucky strikes, they could stay slender. Lasker's use of radio, particularly with his campaigns for Palmolive soap, Pepsodent toothpaste, Kotex products, and Lucky Strike cigarettes, not only revolutionized the advertising industry but significantly changed popular culture. Chicago's manufacturing and retail sectors, fostered by the expansion of railroads throughout the upper Midwest and East, grew rapidly and came to dominate the Midwest and greatly influence the nation's economy. The Chicago Union stockyards dominated the packing trade. Chicago became the world's largest rail hub and one of its busiest ports by shipping traffic on the Great Lakes. Commodity resources, such as lumber, iron and other ores, were brought to Chicago and Ohio for processing, with products shipped both east and west to support new growth. Chicago in the 1930s was a major center of activity in the United States. 1930s Chicago is firmly associated with gangsters and the mafia and underground establishments that supplied alcohol under prohibition. A dark and gloomy time during the Great Depression, many people in the city were unemployed and became dependent on food handouts to survive, many turned to crime as a way to fight poverty. Many struggling musicians came to the city and found solace in blues and jazz in the city's clubs as a way to deal with their grievances. Numerous Southern blues and jazz musicians made a name for themselves in the city, just as they had in the 1920s. The theater scene in Chicago flourished during this period. During World War II, the steel mills in the city of Chicago alone for 20% of all U.S. steel production and 10% of world production. During the war, the city produced more steel than Great Britain and surpassed Nazi Germany's production in 1943. After having almost none in 1942, the city's diversified industrial base was second only to Detroit in the value of war production, $24 billion. More than 1,400 companies produced everything from field rations to parachutes to torpedoes, while the new aircraft factories used 100,000 to make engines, aluminum sheets, sights, and other components. 
The Great Migration, suspended because of the Great Depression, resumed at an even faster pace between 1910 and 1930, when hundreds of thousands of black Americans poured into the city to work in steel mills, railroads, and shipping station new construction boomed in the 1920s, with notable landmarks such as the Merchandise Mart and Art Deco Chicago Board of Trade Building completed in 1930. The Wall Street Crash of 1929, the Great Depression and diversion of resources into World War II led to the suspension for years of new construction. Starting in the 1950s, in the post-war desire for new and improved housing, aided by new highways and commuter train lines, many upper- and middle-class citizens left the inner city of Chicago for the suburbs. Changes in industry after 1950, with restructuring of the stockyards and steel industries, led to massive job losses in the city for working-class people. The city population shrank by nearly 700,000, leaving many impoverished neighborhoods. The city council devised Plan 21 to improve neighborhoods and focused on creating suburbs within the city near downtown and the lakefront. It built public housing to try to improve housing standards in the city. As a result many poor were uprooted from newly created enclaves of black, Latino, and poor in neighborhoods such as near North, Wicker Park, Lakeview, Uptown, Cabrini, Green, West Town, and Lincoln Park. The passage of civil rights laws in the 1960s also affected Chicago and other northern cities. In the 1960s and 1970s, many middle-income Americans left the city for better housing and schools in the suburbs.